Hello and welcome. My name is Reverend Joanne. This is Gathering of Lights Sunday Morning Spiritual Suggestions. We are not live today, but a lot of you connect with us later on in the afternoon, so I hope you'll apologize for that. Our internet is out, but that's get all that. It's all stuff, right? Stuff that goes on throughout our day. This is Sunday morning. It is time to give to the divine, that which the divine has given us, a beautiful day of celebration and connection. You know, the divine is always calling out to each and every one of us to connect and providing for us all different avenues of connection. And one of the most amazing avenues that the divine has provided for all of us was to give us something called the 12 step programs. They started out with Alcoholics Anonymous. They went into Al-Anon and they, they continued into all different areas of life, helping people with addictions from, from all kinds of things, from relationships to food, to sex, to gambling, to now with gaming and all the different video things that are out there, to compulsive shopping, to all the different things that we tend to do compulsively. And especially even now, this gift was given to us before we even came into being a more addictive society. Isn't that wonderful? How the divine was here for us and they're always providing for us. So let us start our little session today with thinking about that, with thinking how the divine is ahead of us, always providing for us a means for us to sort of fix the problem that we're heading towards before we even get there so that we can have a means of release, awakening, upliftment, even in the most difficult of times. And so we come together this morning and we pray, God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Dear God, we start with this serenity prayer. Higher power, whatever, whatever way you show up in our lives, we ask you this day to give us strength, to give us the ability to connect with you in a more profound way than we ever had before. We are saying yes this morning. We are saying yes to that connection. We are saying yes to grace, to the divine, to be here with us. We trust in that connection. We know that in our calling out for it, that it is so because you have said it over and over again that you are here for us this morning. We are trusting in that and we are willing to give over to you anything that is now getting in the way of our ability to live our highest purpose, our highest good, our highest sense of connectedness, interconnection, peace, love, and light. Ashe, amen. So mote it be. So we are starting this out with this. We're talking about the 12 step program and you know, the 12 steps are, you know, they, they are very specific. We have to admit that we're powerless over a particular thing, person, place, or thing, situation, um, all those kind of ideas and that our lives become unmanageable. Now, if you are worrying over something, if you are stressed out about something, well, that is the thing now that is creating an unmanageability in your life. And most of the time, what we're powerless over is the fact that we're having this ceaseless mind chatter about the thing that's going on for us. Ceaseless mind chatter, whether it's trying to plan to get it or trying to plan to what we're going to do if it happens or trying to plan how best to please or, or, or make people cooperate or to um, how are we going to have that next meal or what will really taste good or mm, if I just place this bet then I'm going to get this back or I'm going to beat this person in this next game and I'm going to continue to go out and play, play, play more, 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 more. And just it's this idea of this ceaseless chatter that goes on our heads, powerless over that because it keeps happening 
keeps happening. We have become, folks, powerless over our own minds, over our own ability to, to have a sense of knowing that these are the thoughts that I'm thinking and this and I am choosing to have those thoughts rather than having those thoughts just be constantly going over and over our minds. And then our lives become unmanageable. Why? Because we stress, right? When we stress out what happens to us, we get sick, we get hurt, and we disconnect. We disconnect. Once the stress comes in, the panic comes in, we hold on, we lock down, and we cannot move further in our life and in our experiences. So, <laughs> all right, so is anybody, anybody here on step one with me, okay? And it's just, this is where we are. This is where we are as a world. This is where we are as a as a community. But again, this is the this is the divine again ahead of us, giving us steps to go up, to come out of, to move away from all of the things that I've just described before. But I have to first one, we admit it. We have to admit, folks, we have to be an active participant in this process of healing, of upliftment, of moving up the steps. Be on the first step. Be on it with all of your heart and soul. Be on it. Know that you're on it. Know that you're there. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. Admit it. And it's, it's wonderful that the first word is we. So you don't have to admit alone. I'm here to admit with all of you that we are going crazy these days. Okay. So, and our lives have become unmanageable to a very extreme extent. Whether you want to blame anybody else, just know that our obsessing over the need to blame is a way of where power, we've become powerless over. Our, our obsessive need to justify, we become powerless over. Our obsessive need to be right, we are powerless over. It's non-stop. Our lives are becoming unmanageable. But I'm here today to ask us to come to a place in believing that a power greater than ourselves can restore us to sanity. That there is a way out. That if you can just make a decision to turn your life back over to this higher power as you understand it. Gathering of Light is very, very clear on this fact that there are many ways to the divine and many ways of understanding this sense of a higher power that it has come through us throughout time and time again in different cultures and different times as it is needed again the divine showing up as it is needed for the culture and for the time giving us those same core universal principles of unity equity kindness compassion connection hope, trusting in each other. But it has to come back to first, trusting in uh, some sort of higher power. Those were our first three steps. I can't, I can't, the divine can, so I will let him, I will let it, I will let the divine as I understand it, help me, no matter what I call it. Allah, Krishna, Buddha, Jesus, Moses, Yahweh, uh, whatever I'm going to call it, um, Ahura Mazda, right? Whatever we call the divine, the great spirit, the great outdoors, the universal intelligence, something, something. Move out of this place of getting caught in the same neural pathways. It's, it's biological, folks. But you need to make that sense of surrender and come down to us. This is what 12-step spirituality is all about. It's not just the 12 steps. It's the spirituality. It is the magic and the power that comes through this process of taking these steps in such a profound way in every single aspect of our lives. I have a challenge for you today. You know, Sunday spiritual suggestions or suggestion, if you'd like to soften it up again, but I want to really challenge it for you today. I'd like you to write this down. Say, I surrender everything that, I surrender everything that. Now, place in there, what are you obsessing over these days? Okay, that need to be right, that need for a certain situation to happen, that need to 
uh, compulsively participate in the same behavior. I surrender everything that this behavior means to me. Everything that it means to me. Because there is also some idea in our heads that if I just did this, then that would happen. If this just happened, then I could be peaceful. If this just happened, then I could uh, relieve the stress. If this just happened, then I can get that aha moment. And I'm telling you that aha moments only truly, real aha moments only come with clarity and when this connection happens. So we're continuing to write down this simple statement. I surrender everything that blank means to me, comma, trusting, now your higher power, you can put God, you can put whatever higher power you want to put in there, trusting my higher power to put something incomparably better in its place. Something bigger that I, I couldn't even compare it to what I could imagine. I couldn't even compare it. I surrender everything that compulsive thinking means to me, trusting the divine to put something incomparably better in its place. So I'm trusting. That's that decision to let go and let God. That's that decision to be there in it. Now, how we, we do the surrender. We're doing it together. We're making the surrender. Write it out. Put it out on paper. And then when you write it out, write out what happens after you write that sentence down. But you didn't do it before. And I'm scared. Or what would happen if, and all those other things. But continue to write. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender everything that this compulsive thinking means to me. Trusting the divine to put something incomparably better in its place. Oh, put it down. Put it down on paper because that's part of the 12 step spirituality. What, what makes the 12 step spiritual is not only that it says, okay, just turn everything over and trust God. No, it says, put some action into play. Put pen to paper. Examine who you are. Examine what's going on in your life. Examine what's going on inside your head. Take a look at it, not from inside your head, but from on the paper where you can see it more clearly. And then take that, share it with somebody else. Why, why, why are we sharing it with somebody else? Because it's part of your story. This is your story a sound right it's a beautiful sound it's your story it's out there but what happens in your mind is that story echoes and goes on 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 but when you put the story out there and then it stops and there's stillness and quiet, something profound happens. It's that space between everyone sharing in the fellowship, in that process of taking those 12 steps. Those quiet still moments is when the magic starts to happen. It's when one hand reaches out to another hand and says, I can help. So the, the process we're going on, this spirituality, is we're saying that I'm connecting to and understanding the unmanageability. I'm trusting in this power greater than myself to come in and wash over me some sense of sanity, some sense of relief, some sense of ease and trust and hope and uplifting me to a better sense of who I am truly meant to be and what is really clear and, and true about life. I could truly live it. And then I could have better conversation and be involved in life and hear the stillness between the stories. And allow a breath of fresh air to come in in the midst of the story. 
so we don't have to be so bound by it. That could be just a story and that we can know that we are more than the stories of our lives, that the stories matter and they help create us and move us. But there is a universal story of humanity that is the most important story of all. It's just as me and my own story. It's how that story echoes and affects the world and how the world is joining in that sound. And then in the greater knowing of when we all just say yes to what we thought was, yes in our coming together and trying to be more sincere and open to hearing. And we get quiet and we truly listen to the magic that happens, the miracle that happens when we really listen. And so the 12 steps give processes that, that seem so, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning about myself. I'm learning about, you know, coming to terms with resentments and things I've held on to and then learning my, my part in it and these, these self-defeating learned behaviors that, that come into me where I'm, I utilize them to keep justified and feeling right and feeling that I, that I have to continue the behavior that I feel that I'm continuing, that it's okay and it's not bothering anybody else and, and that it doesn't affect the world and, and that my story of, of just on and on and on and rattle, 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 on and on and on and on isn't affecting everybody else. It's just me in my own head doing this, but this is affecting, this is affecting and it's hurting and it's painful to every single person around you. Participating in this behavior over and over again is pounding, pounding, pounding the universal spirit, pounding our universal consciousness, keeping the world stuck. We need you. We need your peace. We need your surrender to offer hope for every living thing on this earth. Because that's where it goes. It says now, now think about, think about how all that pounding, all that even in, see thoughts are things, they matter. So all of that behavior or thinking, manipulating, it, all that stuff, that vitriol that we pile up inside ourselves, and it affects, it affects people around us. And maybe take, take stock to take some time to look at how that, how that affects others and how we use the way that's affecting others to, com to take us all the way back to obsessing over things again. So we make a list and then we actively work on that list to do something different, do something different in the way that we show up in the world and the way that we show up for each other. And once we do it for the past, we have to continue to do that on a daily basis, asking ourselves, listen to the spirituality. It's clearing up the past. It's making this great connection to the divine. And then it's telling us how we can every day come to that. We wake up in the morning, say, I'm going to offer myself to you this day. I offer myself to, to whatever, whatever I have planned in this day, let it not just be about me. Let me get out of my head and get into my heart and let me be of service in the world. Even if I'm just bringing kindness, gentleness into each and every little interaction that I have with everyone and everything around me. Making it all a little nicer. Help me to do that. And at the end of the day, asking ourselves, how did I do? How did I do? And when we make a mistake, we can just do over during the course of the day. Wow, uh, ugh, went overboard there. I, I felt myself going back. Let me say I'm sorry. Let me not bring a resentment about one thing into my relation. Let me not bring it home. Let me stop at the doorway. Say whatever happened out there, I'm not bringing it in here. 
Little things we can do, and they add up to profound, profound changes. And each one of them is about going down into this, I'm on 11, step 11. Sought through prayer and meditation to improve your conscious contact with the divine as you understand it. It is so important that we make that connection, that we take the time to figure out what does that mean for us? What is the divine for us? And is it changing? Is it moving? Recently, we spoke about the Baha'i faith and how they say that the divine gives this concept of progressive revelation that throughout the course of humanity, we've been giving new prophets, new messages that still do the core values that are the same, but they are, they are given to us in a new way so that we can lift and we can come to a higher place of understanding as a human race, don't you think in our individual lives we might need that? We might need, need to sometimes maybe look at things from a mindfulness perspective, from a Buddhist perspective, from different eyes, or maybe have that, that love for Jesus from a Christian perspective, or that same love, devotion that we, that we give to Krishna, or you know, and all the different tools that all the different faith traditions are giving us. Maybe we can explore that a little bit more to find out where do I fit in in all this, and maybe I need a little something different to strengthen that relationship so I can come back and trust it more, right? Because I will surrender everything that these other ideas mean to me, trusting that the divine will put something incomparably better. And what is that something incomparably better? And how do I connect to that something better by utilizing more tools, opening up more doorways, expanding the horizon, keeping that picture fuller, grander, exploring, trusting in the journey of what not only what I think the divine means, but what the divine has been given to humanity. What can we learn from that? Gathering offers that. But 12-step spirituality does too in saying, God as you understand it. And at the end, it says that now I need to go out and I need to serve others and I need to be useful, useful in this world, helping others so that they can have this gift of true purpose and meaning in their life that I have been given. That this purpose of relief from the bondage of those self-defeating behaviors, a relief from the bondage of an addiction, of an obsession that has kept us covered, kept us down kept us repeating the same thing over and over and over again. This day, my prayer for you is that, that you can know that there are all sorts of ways out of chaos, hurt, confusion, addiction. And then I know that some of these addictions are more intrinsically connected to our biology than others. Some take more time to take us down. Some are slower in their insidiousness. But we are at a point now in our world where we need more light, more now than ever. And every place that we are in darkness, where we are in that place of just, just wanting to tune off and turn turn out the world and, and turn off our minds and turn off our hearts and turn off our beingness is the very time when we need to turn more to the light. 12-step spirituality reminds us that the whole thing starts with the we. Find a community that is willing to help you grow, to stand beside you as you do the footwork. And there is work to do. There is no mistake about it, but we can do it. We can do it together. And the divine, again, has already set the pathway, provided for us this wonderful, wonderful way out of anything and everything that we might find ourselves in in our lives. My prayer for you today 
is that you take the story of you, you share it with somebody who is truly going to listen with ears of kindness, ears of acceptance, unconditional love. And take then the willing steps, the next steps, to allow your story to unfold to greater heights of love, of healing, of true service for humanity. I want to thank you for joining me this day at Sunday Spiritual Suggestions. This is Gathering of Light from gatheringoflight.org. If you could help us out and continue to do our work, you can find us on our website at gatheringoflight.org and you can click on the donate button there and that can send it to you. Or you can come down on a Saturday at 10 a.m. We are located in Huntington Station on Long Island in New York and at 203 East Pulaski Road in Huntington Station. You could also send a check there to 203 East Pulaski Road in Huntington Station, 11746. And you know, we really appreciate all the help we can get. We really want to keep this message out of connecting and universal spirituality. Again, do not forget to surrender. Surrender all you can. Allow for that beautiful tone to be heard in a pure, expansive, wonderful healing way blessings to you and know that it is a we program and we are always here for you blessings <laughs>